Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to manage relay settings in RTMS software. Let's get started. In this video, I will demonstrate how to manage relay settings. The blue icon is the relay settings button. To begin adding settings or editing settings, you must enable editing. Now select the new setting button. Using a folder name allows you to group settings by type, such as instantaneous overcurrent. Now enter an actual setting name, such as 50P1P. Now you may enter any comment that is appropriate, such as phase instantaneous pickup. The script name is created for you. This is the name of the variable which may be called by a script when automating a test template. The field type. Integer and float are numeric values. Enumeration is a list of numeric values. String enumeration is a list of, of possible settings which may include an alpha character. String is a definite alpha character field. You may enter a default setting if you know one, and you may enter the minimum and maximum that the relay is capable of. Show Modbus. This is where you can see the properties of Modbus addressing for each setting when Modbus has been applied. Accept the change, and now you can see your new setting. We also have the ability to import settings. We can read from a relay, SEL, Serial, or Modbus, such as Multilin relays. We can import various files, such as XRIO, TEKS, SEL, RDB text files. These would be files exported from Accelerator software, two different types of URL phase, a generic CSV file, and we can export our settings to a CSV file. Now I will demonstrate downloading settings from an SEL relay. These are the default commands that will be issued to the relay. You must know the password for level 1 and level 2. You must know your COM port and the baud rate. Click read from relay and the process begins. It starts by logging into the relay and now it is reading the, from the relay. It takes a couple of moments. And the settings have been completed. You can now see the settings by going through the general groups. Here's all the instantaneous settings. Here's all the time over current settings. You can also browse through the groups by using the navigation buttons or if you're looking for a specific setting, you may search for it here. And there are other ways to enter relay settings. Return to the home screen and I will start a new relay. Click the new button. I'm not going to save changes. And a new relay has opened. Most of our predefined test features have a button for adding settings to the report. All of the timing and all of the differential test features include this function. As example, I'm just going to accept the settings as they are. Right here, add settings to report. Go past this screen as if I'm going to test a relay, open the report, and you'll see the settings have already been added. Other features have other ways of adding settings. For example, the ramping screens. All of the ramping features will give you the option of adding settings at the end of a test. So I will simulate a quick test. 
It really doesn't matter if it passes or fails. Simulate contact. Ending ramp. Add to report. As you add it to the report, you can see all of the, the settings are included. Remember, anything in blue can be changed. So if 10% tolerance is not correct, you can change this to, an, to another number, say 5%, and as you do, you'll see the min and max values also change. Notice that I had turned on voltage just to demonstrate that everything you turn on is included in the report. Return to home screen. Open the test report and you'll see that now the report has been amended. A new test report was not created. We added to it. Back to home screen once again. Other test features such as the sequencer and the impedance screens will all add settings automatically along with the test results. This concludes managing relay settings in RTMS software. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. Visit the MEGA YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.